In this video, we're going to be going over how to properly fill out an IMCA hardship application. Animals must be 24 months or older to complete this form. Animals, if approved, will be appearance certified upon approval. The first step is going to be to select your correct fee type. You do this by selecting the box and entering hardship application for a member, non-member, or hardship application for a steer. The next step will be to select your certificate option. You can choose traditional paper certificate mailed to you through USPS or a digital certificate that is emailed to you in PDF format. The next step will be to enter the application date. You do this by selecting the box. The calendar pops up and you will select today's date. The next step is what are you hardshipping, a cow, bull, or steer? You will select the circle for the appropriate answer. The next thing you will need to do is select the date of birth. Animals must be at least 24 months of age at the time of hardship application. If you do not have a date of birth, it must be estimated by checking with the breeder, former owner, your veterinarian, or someone experienced in mouthing bovine to read the teeth for approximate age. You will select the calendar and use the arrows to navigate to find the appropriate month and year, followed by selecting the appropriate date and hitting set. If you make a mistake, you can always go back and hit clear. The next step will be to enter your IMCA member number and the name of the owner, followed by the name of the animal to be hardshipped. Your name must be 24 characters or less. The next step will be to enter the date you took ownership. You do this by selecting the box, the calendar pops up, and you can navigate it as explained earlier. Next, you are going to want to enter the breeder's member number, the breeder's name if known and address, and the name of the previous owner who you purchased this animal from if other than the breeder. You are then going to want to select an identification type. You do this by selecting the box and choosing tattoo, tag, microchip, or other. Then you will enter the location of the microchip tattoo or ear tag, the identification number, and the height measured immediately behind the hump. Measurements should be taken on flat level ground if possible to ensure accuracy. Next, you're gonna to wanna to enter the date of measurement, followed by the sire's IMZA registration number if known, the name of the sire if known, the dam's IMCA registration number, if known, and the name of the dam, if known. In the next section, below you will write a sequence of events of how and when you acquired this animal. Include any breeder information or former owners. Include any information you have on the sire and dam. If you know the sire and dam's pedigrees, you may list that information later on on this application. If a female, is this female open, bred, or does she have any prodigy also unregistered? You can select open, bred, prodigy unregistered, or not a female. Next, if a female has been bred to an unknown bull or an IMCA registered bull, unknown sire, IMCA registered bull, or not a female. If a bred female, please enter the sire's registered name if bred to an IMCA registered bull, the registration number of sire bred to or exposed to. Are both testicles descended in bulls over two years of age? Yes, no, or not a bull. Are there any reproductive abnormalities found in either sex? Yes or no. Animal imbalance with correct proportion of leg and neck to back and body? Yes or no. Back in correct proportion levels or slightly dipped? Yes or no. Are the legs straight when viewed from the front, left side, right side, and the rear? Yes or no. Ears pointed, non-pendulous, or even held upright? Yes or no. Dewlap moderately developed, free of fleshiness with folds? Yes or no. 
Is the sheath tight in bolts? Yes or no? Please fill in all known pedigree information below. The name and number of the sire's sire, if known. Name and number of sire's dam, if known. Name and number of dam's sire, if known. And the name and number of the dam's dam, if known. You will then need to include four current photographs of the animal. One from the front, be sure it clearly shows the head, the rear, the left side, and the right side. You will do this by selecting Choose File. You can then select the appropriate photograph from your files that you wish to use. You will do this for each one individually, the rear, left, right, and front pictures. Any additional information that you deem useful should also be included here. You will then need to fill out the membership number of the person completing this form, the name of the person completing this form, and the email address of the person completing this form. When you submit this form, you are certifying that the above information is a true and correct statement and that you desire to have the same recorded in the records of the International Miniature Zebu Association, in consideration of which you would agree to abide by and be bound by the Articles of Incorporation, Bylaws, and Rules and Regulations of the Association and amendments thereto. Please do not email any DNA test results along with your application to the IMZA Registrar. You can follow the IMZA DNA Submission Guide. You are then going to hit Continue. You will be taken to a page where you can review all of the information and check for accuracy. You'll be given the option to go back and correct anything if needed or proceed to payment. Thank you for watching our video and we hope you found it very helpful. Mm -hmm.